Good morning and welcome to today's vlog. Uh, we're still in New Zealand right now. This is day two. We're still in Queenstown in our Airbnb. Uh, this morning we just had a really beautiful sunrise and I want to take this opportunity to take a little bit of portrait of my wife before we leave Queenstown and also to take a little bit more pictures of the scenery which is just so beautiful and just so nice i want to take this moment for a little bit of photography and then after this we're gonna leave queenstown we're gonna head straight to teano we're gonna go into the glowworm cave tour and i want to try to squeeze a little bit of photography time as well right there and also on the teano lake itself so that's the plan for today let's start with an environmental portrait of my wife during this beautiful beautiful sunrise lighting all right, so I thought I want to take this opportunity of the perfect lighting to take an environmental portrait of my wife using a wide angle lens. So I have with me my Panasonic G85 with the 8 to 18 millimeter. I'm currently at about 12 millimeter, not to become too wide, but just perfect for this sort of kind of environmental portrait. Aperture priority f4. I'm keeping everything else automatic. So let's try to capture a nice portrait of my wife. All right. This is really nice lighting. One, two, three. Again, I'm going to aim until I get the perfect angle. Just look at the light. It's just golden. It's just really nice. I love this kind of sunrise kind of situation where it makes the skin looks even better than it usually looks. And also the overall scenery looks like it's just alive and so vibrant and so colorful. And as you can see, uh, we're going to take some different kind of poses. I'm trying to keep the angle different and also trying to experiment with the best sort of angle and also the background. Really nice, really nice. One more time, a few more time, taking a few uh, vertical and then also a few horizontal. I'm still going uh, in really close at 18 millimeter. Let's try. I'm gonna back up a little bit and let's try really nice really nice all of the combination of the golden color as well as the uh, mountain background and the blue sky just really nice i love this pose really nice let's try one more time I'm going to try to uh, use this sort of railing as a leading line for my wife let's try i hope i'm not falling or anything all right really nice one more perfect perfect one last time excellent as you can see over there that's the sun that's very bright this is uh, early in the morning it's just sunrise right now and it looks really beautiful and as you can see the scenery over there uh, they catches the light from the sun currently rising so we got this nice golden kind of lighting situation with make which makes everything looks really nice and i want to uh, capture this sort of landscape over here again with the 8 to 18 millimeter and i'm at 18 millimeter right now i want to uh, going a little bit tight over this mountain area with the trees and the building and that sort of area over there near the lake so let's try to capture that f4 i keep everything else automatic so i'm focusing somewhere uh, right there i'm trying to compose to add a little bit of these buildings right here just a little bit not too much and yeah that's just perfect let's try one more time i'm focusing on the uh somewhere over there near the lake the building the white building over there let's try it again 18 millimeter really nice really nice the combination between the bluish orange kind of mountain with the lake and also the uh trees over there just looks really beautiful especially with this kind of lighting we don't have this kind of lighting yesterday so today is just perfect i'm going to try to shoot right into the sun uh, we're, we're gonna get some sort of uh, weird artifacts distortions and not distortions but flaring and ghosting because we're shooting right into the light source but we're just going to try it anyway uh, so i'm going to a uh, meter into the sky or near the lake so it's gonna be a little bit dark but we'll just try yeah we get a little bit of that flaring and ghosting effect because we're shooting into the light source but we're just gonna try anyway right looks nice <laughs> So 
So we have arrived here in Te Anawe and we already visited the Glowworm Cave tour and it was really beautiful however I didn't really take any pictures because it was not allowed inside the cave however I managed to snap a few pictures here, here and there when we arrived in Te Anau and also outside of the cave I tried to uh, find some compositions here and there and yeah I will share the pictures right now so you can see uh, some of these pictures after this we're gonna head back to Te Anau and then we're gonna spend some time on the Lake Te Anau itself and try to find some beautiful pictures right there and then after that we're gonna call it a day so yeah see you back in Te Anau all right, so we're here in Lake Te Anau on the Te Anau Township area and we discovered this uh, cool looking tree by the lake right here and also this mountain area behind on the background as you can see. And I also discovered some dead lupins over here that really makes an interesting kind of object and I want to try to capture all of this things together in one single image using my Panasonic uh, 8 to 18 millimeter lens the Leica lens over here with the G85 as sort of a classic wide angle kind of shot and yeah I want to try to capture this image with f8 aperture priority I want to try to make everything in focus and yeah let's try to capture the image a very simple vertical composition like shown on the camera right now Again, F8 and yeah, I just keep everything else automatic. Trying to get everything in focus with just one single image. So yeah, I'm focusing on the lupin right here. And yeah, I got a little bit of the sky and also the tree behind and also the mountain behind. I think this kind of works, but I'm not really too happy about this image. However, I think this is more uh, sort of a uh, exercise for me. Whenever I'm doing this kind of landscape picture I try to find a foreground of interest because otherwise without a nice strong foreground the image will look really kind of dull especially with wide angle lens all right so I think the wide angle picture is kind of very mediocre I don't really find it interesting however I found that the mountain over there is kind of interesting and I want to try to get a close-up of the mountain area over there so I'm switching to the GX85 with the 35 to 100 millimeter telephoto lens and with the telephoto lens it's actually easier I just discovered that <laughs> it's actually easier to make a composition because you don't have the obligation to always have a strong foreground of interest with telephoto pictures you can just zoom in straight away to whatever you want to uh, try to capture so that's what I'm going to do right now aperture priority f5.6 let's see I'm at 35 millimeter right now but I want to try to get in really close let's try about this this is about 60 or 70 let's try to capture the image right here looks kind of nice I'm trying to get a little bit wider maybe 50 or let's try 35 35 looks good I want to try to capture those mountain ridges and the intersection between the mountain on the front and the mountain on the behind something like that that's what I want to try to capture let's try vertical composition ah, I didn't really work so oh maybe it works yeah maybe it kind of works so let's try this I want to try to include a little bit of the cloud I'm trying to treat the cloud as part of the uh, composition Oh, we have a boat coming right here. I think that's gonna make a nice subject for our picture. Let's try horizontal at about 50. Aperture priority, keeping everything automatic and just quick. Let's try vertical composition. Oh, I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer and something like this. Yep. Yep, something like this works really nice. Yep. Wow, that turns out to be a really good picture. The ship actually adds a lot to the overall image. I love it. Nice. All right, so we're here again at the Te Anau Lake and we have this wharf over here that's very photogenic and a lot of people are taking the picture of this wharf right here. And now we're gonna do the same thing using long exposure, anti filter, wide angle kind of stuff very classic landscape photograph of the Lake Te Anau over here so yeah let's go ahead and do that all right so as you can see right here we are now situated in the wharf that I just talked about and I already 
set up my camera over here for some long exposure kind of shot I already installed my ND filter right here I have a six stop ND filter right now I'm at full manual with the Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 millimeter uh, I'm at 18 millimeter I want it a little bit tighter because I want to get that a little bit of compression on the mountain on the background right there and also I'm at full manual ISO 200 one second exposure and f8 so let's try to take the shot right here let's see how it turns out all right I'm gonna set up a timer right here just to minimize uh, camera a shake from my hands and such things we got about one second exposure let's try all right this looks nice all right this looks nice let's try one more time all right maybe we want slightly longer exposure i'm gonna go to f11 let's go to about two seconds let's try all right the wind's getting stronger i hope you can still hear me through the video camera all right looks nice And so that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's vlog in Teano. Tomorrow we're going to Milford Sound and we're gonna uh, have a little bit of a uh, fjord cruise. And then after that, we're gonna head back to Queenstown again. I hope this has been fun for you. I hope that this has been entertaining and also informative for you. So please don't forget to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video and subscribing to my channel and check out my next vlog as well. Stay tuned on my channel. Thank you and see you on the next video. Goodbye.